what is the next chapter in King Gordon's life? What is the next challenge you want to overcome? You know what I think it is? I think it's being happy. I think that when you work as hard as I have mm -hmm. and try to figure out where you're going to go with work, how you're going to survive, how you're going to make it, how you're going to retire, like there's a thousand, how the kid's going to get mm -hmm. to school, you know, all of these things. I think that finally able to go like, oh my God, I could actually be happy. What about mm -hmm. balance and a little bit of happy? How do you get that? Like all of a sudden you're, you're just so like, what is that? The hamster wheel, right? And you're just right, like, I gotta go this, right, I gotta right. do this. And it's funny because it really stresses me out. When I get to finally kind of relax with these houses, I'm like, oh, okay. Money's kind of, oh, okay. People are like, no, the houses are good. Oh, okay. The kids are fine. They're doing really well in school. It's okay. And things start to get like that. I almost have a panic attack. Like somewhere within the quiet <laughs> is a panic attack. You know what I mean? Where you're going, I wasn't panicked before when I was running around like a crazy yes. person. But as soon as I start to relax, I'm ready to jump out of my head. I just, out of my body. I just can't. I'm like, oh my God, what do I do? I have nothing to do. I got I to I clean. Well, let's talk a little bit about your personal life, if you okay, don't okay. mind. Oh, yeah. you, uh, you're the mother of two children. Yes. A 13 and an eight year old. Yes, yeah, two boys. Talk about like building this incredible career that you have. It's so inspiring. How do you do that and pick the kids up from school and, and, and be a mom? <laughs> and on top of that, just be a woman and, and have a life. I mean, how do you have that? How the do balance you... is hard, man. It's really, I don't even, honestly, I just, my biggest challenge is the gear shifting. I'm really in my head and I'm designing, you're deeply designing, you're really, really into it. Mm -hmm. And then you gotta stop at four o'clock or 3.30 and pick the kids up. Going from designing in such a level where it's all in my head to going to like, literally doing kids homework and getting into some fight on the way home and they don't wanna know what they're gonna eat and I gotta mm -hmm. make dinner. And I'm just, I just get like, blah, blah, blah. how am I gonna do that? If I'm in the head and then someone even asks me a question, and they're like, oh, so what about this bill or something? I go like, yeah, like it's just, it's again, that, I can't, you know? you know what I mean? It's really yeah. hard. It's hard. That's, I find to be the hardest. Yeah. What the answer is, I guess, is the commitment. Obviously, children are really important. Mm -hmm. that, that really, I mean, that's the most important thing in the world. And it's true for myself whenever I feel guilty because I beat myself up not being with the kids more. And I'm lucky because I have a flexible schedule. All over the world, people yeah. are killing themselves to just work and just to be able to survive and thrive. Mm -hmm. And it takes up so much time. And then to be able to sit there with your children, I'm lucky that I can be there as much as I can. You know, because people are stressed out. Yeah. The world is so hard. To be able to give the kids what they need, I, I, I wish I knew the, I mean, really, that's intense. That's a big deal. That freaks me out more than all the houses. <laughs> My God, well, what a responsibility. I'm sure you're quite the mother. Oh, I don't know. They, we laugh a lot, I can tell you that much.